What's going on guys, Ryan with Jetta Patrol back with another video. Today we're going to take a look at, uh, at a figure. I'm going, to take a look, I'm going to take a look at Captain America. Pretty good looking, right? I th we're going to take a look at Cap. And I think we're also going to take a look at uh, maybe this Captain America. And then maybe we'll take a look, maybe this one. Yeah, maybe we'll take a look at that Captain America. And maybe, maybe one more, maybe, maybe just one more Captain America. And wait, I got, I got one more. Hold on. Another Captain America. We're gonna take a look at Captain America today. That's right guys, Ryan back with another video today. Captain America episode in preparation of what possibly may be a Captain America. I mean, it's gotta happen at some point, right? Captain America in games gotta happen. So it's 2021, it's gotta happen. So maybe it's sooner rather than later. Maybe, maybe it's very soon. Maybe it's soon. <laughs> so I thought we'd take a look at some Captain Americas I have in my collection and uh, just give you guys a little comparison. All right, we'll just have some fun with this today. Uh, so if you're wondering, I do have, uh, start all the way from way back when, I have the 2012 Toy Fair Rescue Captain America. So this is a super rare piece. Uh, pleasure to have this one in the collection. I actually did an unboxing video of this one way back when. Uh, so this is that one. Uh, then we've got, this is Captain America from Age of Ultron. So that's this guy right here with the magnetic shield and whatnot. We've got Captain America from the Winter Soldier in the stealth strike suit. So that's a fun one. Uh, we've got Infinity War cap, and then we've got concept art cap. All right guys, the first figure we're gonna take a look at is the 2012 Toy Fair exclusive rescue version Captain America. This thing is awesome. Now, again, this is 2012. It's it's old, okay, it's old. Um, but it, it's got some cool features to it and there's some quirks about it. So some of you guys might be considering picking up a Captain America. You might be wondering like, which one should I get? So maybe this video will help you, I don't know. Uh, but um, I thought it'd be kind of fun to uh, take a look at a few of them. So this is, uh, like I said, 2012 Toy Fair Captain America rescue version. If you guys remember from uh, the first Avenger, he goes in and rescues all of the uh, the POWs, uh, and he doesn't quite have his uh, suit yet, uh, so he's got, uh, you know, this little makeshift deal he's got going on here. And uh, this is actually, uh, I, I just remembered how the heck I uh, attached this this uh, this shield. <laughs> and then, yeah, I made that happen. That didn't actually come with that. I just realized that. That's funny. Uh, <laughs> Some of the other caps have a way to mount the shield. This particular one didn't, and I kind of did a makeshift um, rod right there to hold the shield. I just realized I did that. That's funny. I, there's no telling how long ago I did that. Uh, but here's the helmet. The helmet does pop off, and it is not, I mean, it's, it's the 2012 figure. It's not the best uh, Chris Evans portrait, but it's not, okay, let's be honest with you. It's not all that great, but <laughs> when you get the helmet on there, it looks a little better. Uh, but it is it is an older figure and is older sculpt and paint and whatnot. So there you go So it's not really doesn't really look Chris Evans, especially from the side like that's that's pretty bad, right? Um, but where this uh, figure actually shines obviously is not in that but is in some of the accessories So it does have a, uh, a Tommy gun which actually have displayed somewhere way over in the other cabinet uh, But it just comes with this awesome shield, which is very nice And like I said, it does not come uh, available to mount like this. This is a hack that I did where I actually took a piece, piece of round bar and I put it through a little uh, strap you can see right there and I have this hanging on it. So that's a total hack uh, that uh, that I've made happen. But the jacket is gorgeous. The tailoring, all the little the the uh, straps and harness and everything that's got going on, absolutely gorgeous. A complete nightmare, to be honest with you, to attach. Uh, to pose this jacket is super limiting on this body. Of course, it's an older body So this is not a dynamic posing figure. It's just not in fact It could absolutely uh, go for a body swap and maybe in in some point in time in the future I'll probably do that uh, But there's some definite things here that were a complete pain in the butt to deal with one of them being the harnesses and putting everything on there The jacket being again super limited in its range of motion Thankfully mine if I can let me take this thing off because I'm definitely gonna uh, drop that at some point. There's the back of it, by the way. Nice little straps. So those arms go through. Um, thankfully, mine has not flaked. I have no flaking issues with mine, which is awesome because some figures, uh, again, it doesn't come like this. I had this. Um, sometimes these pleather jackets, or I say a lot of the times, depending on where you get, what part of the country or the world you're in, 
Uh, sometimes those will actually start to flake. Mine is in freaking pristine condition and I try to keep it that way. So I don't bend it a whole lot. I try to keep it, I try to keep it safe, but it does have, uh, it's pretty stiff joints, uh, not the best range of motion and the jacket is super limited. This is not a jacket that I ever want to take off. So that's where that body swap comes in play that this is zippers. Like I don't like messing with six skill zippers, um, but there we go. It does have his uh, old 1911 uh, holster there. This ties around it. It comes with all these little straps. I mean, this things that tie around the uh, thigh there, and then it comes down. Look at the tailoring on the pants. It's got his knife, and then it's got, check out these right here. Look at this. So that's just crazy. So mine's come undone. I need to tie that back up. Uh, but the tailoring and just the details they put in these figures, even back in 2012, is absolutely just mind blowing. Uh, even if I go back here, you got all these little pockets, the harness going back here, and just everything about it is gorgeous. So that's that's pretty pretty fun figure. Again, this is not something you really run around and pose with. It does come with this pretty cool helmet, which is heavy. I mean, it's there's that. It has an internal structure that looks like this, right? Um, but it does come with these goggles that pop off if you want them to. They're just on an elastic band to come right on there. This is heavy. I don't. I'm guessing this is this is actually metal. It's cold to the touch. Uh, so that's a nice touch as well. And it's a good looking figure. It's fun. It's uh it's not one you see every day on the you know the buy sell trade groups. Uh, typically, people that have this keep it because uh, it's just a cool piece to have in the Captain America collection. So that's I'm very happy to own this one. Uh, I'm gonna put him to the side. I'm, I guess I'm gonna go kind of chronologically. I guess I'll probably do that. So we'll go up next. We'll go with uh, strike suit cap from uh, the Winter Soldier, and uh, this is cool. I, I have not owned the the other versions, the first Avenger and the the Golden Age cap from the other one uh, from Winter Soldier. I haven't had that one. Uh, I think those are probably the only caps I've never owned. Uh, I've had a lot of them come in and out of the collection over years. Uh, in fact, this one was actually part, uh, not this particular one, but I actually bought the two pack, which came with the strike suit cap and Steve Rogers figure way, way, way back in the day. And um, when I was getting out of the Marvel game, as you guys know, I've done a couple times and uh, I dumped that figure. I sold it for $225 shipped on eBay and the big oof goes right there um but it is what it is i bought this figure back uh, sometime last summer i believe uh, but it does come with this die cast shield which is gorgeous it is gorgeous and this actually does come with a proper way to mount the shield right here on how well that's showing up in the light there's a proper clip to hang that on there unlike the one i made for my uh, rescue cat but this is a it's a it's a nice figure i really really hope that you know eventually we get a reissue of this the body the proportions are not all that great um, the articulation range of motion is not all that great on this figure. It's not much fun to pose. Uh, the suit is super limiting on the range of motion. Uh, the portrait is pretty good right there. I, I don't mind that at all. I think that's just fine. Uh, but as far as like his, his, the suit is just super limited. Like if, if like the heavy Mando we got just recently, if they did ratcheted joints on this, it would be so much better, but they didn't. So the range of motion kind of sucks. Uh, this suit right here, as far as bending at elbows, I mean, if you really want to work it, you can work it pretty good, but it bunches up in the joints and is it's just not fun to pose. It's just not, but I have it because I like Captain America. It's just one of those things, but I do love the suit design. I always have. Um, I love that we got a little nice little shield agent uh, uh, right there. And then it says Rogers right here on his uh, on the left bicep. Uh, it's a beautiful piece. Uh, the legs are, you mean, you can do whatever you want with the legs. And with a lot of the Captain Americas, the legs are not really the issue. It's the upper body. Uh, but you can see the boots, the black and the brown, and the buckles and everything going on there. It's a beautiful piece. It's a lot of fun. And uh, having the die cast shield is, an, is a nice touch. And maybe with the in-game cap, we're going to get, no, they're not going to give us a die cast shield. I wish they would, though. That would be kind of cool. All right, so there's a Winter Soldier cap. We'll put you right there. I guess next up would be, uh, I guess we'll do... Age of Voltron cap. I guess we'll do this one. And uh, I actually have him with an accessory that he doesn't come with. This is, comes with the Mark 43 Iron Man, so we'll kind of get that out of here for right a second. The Age of Voltron cap, way different in colors and, and the, uh, the proportions, and it has a magnetic shield. That is the coolest feature. Like I, I did have at one point, I bought the Civil War Captain America brand new, uh, you know, straight from Sideshow years and years ago, and I, I got rid of it. Um, 
and I, everybody says that's the best Captain America. But honestly, I like this one. I like the colors, other than it having you know the Avengers logo on there, which is and then the the colors are a little bit more vibrant. The white and the red on the Age of Ultron a little bit more vibrant. Um, but I love the magnetic magnetic shield because of just just that function right there. It's just boom. You don't have to worry about it. it sticks right there. He also has it in the arms. So if you want to have him like right there on either arm, there's magnets, so you can have him. It's just it's a cool feature. I know it's only specific to this one film, but I would have loved that they carried that over, but they didn't. But this is also a uh, die-cast shield, which is gorgeous. It's a really big fan of that one. And uh, yeah, pretty cool piece. Uh, but this one right here, I really like the colors of this one. Obviously, this is classic Captain America, red, white, and blue. Uh, we got a nice little shield. Again, range of motion on the legs, no issues there. We do have a different style boot from the previous one from Strike Suit. Uh, no buckles or anything, pretty much just brown and red uh, with a little cover on it, which is gives us some range of motion, which is nice. Uh, red going throughout the pants, and then uh, just normal buckles and whatnot. It's just it's just a good looking figure. You, this one I, I feel is a little bit more poseable than uh, than this guy. And you can see the proportions in the bodies. Like this guy right here, not a, he has like no traps. See that he has no 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 well no neck. Look at this. It's just, it's real. The proportions are weird. Uh, so I prefer this one. And if you had to get this one or the Civil War version, purely based out of convenience for the shield, I would get this version. Um, but that's just my preference because I like uh, cool, neat little figure uh, tricks. Uh, so it's pretty cool. This actually does come with another head sculpt, which I have over here. Let's see here. One, I've got several of these things. Oh, I got, I actually have two of the same portrait because I bought a, a, um, an extra one. Uh, but this one actually does come with a separate unmasked uh, Steve Rogers head, uh, which honestly, I think it's pretty good. I think it's pretty good. I don't think they've actually nailed Chris Evans just yet. And I'm hoping that, uh, you know, at some point we'll get one that's like, just blows everything out of the water, but this is not bad. This is not a bad portrait at all, and I do uh, I like this one. I did buy an extra one for another figure that did not come with an unmasked uh, portrait, and I wanted one, so I picked one up. So there you go. There's that. So these two uh, kind of come together, which is kind of neat. Uh, and another feature of this one, I believe, yeah, it came with this one, right? Yeah. Um, is it came with, I got all these extra bags of stuff, it came with this, which is nice. If you want to have him just holding his helmet, it comes with this. I think that's a super cool feature. I like that. So there you go. Uh, there's that. So we've got rescue, rescue cap. We got strike suit cap. We've got Age of Ultron cap, which means we got to move on to. Well, if we, if we go to that one, we got to go to the Civil War, right? Because that was Sokovia. Uh, then we've got Civil War. I don't own Civil War cap, so the next closest thing to Civil War cap is uh, is the concept art cap. Now this one, by far my favorite Captain America. I mean, not even it's not even fair how much this one is my favorite. If, and I predict this, look at this, look at this, guys. Holy crap. Gorgeous. If this body, this suit, this if it was in red, white, and blue, people would be drooling, and this would be the Captain America Grail. This would be it, okay? Uh, the proportions on this body are so good, even better than the D23 cap, okay? Uh, and if you go back and look at that video, I did a D23 cap, uh, which is going to be very similar to what we're going to get for the in-game cap because it was pretty much an early release, unless they just change it completely. Who knows? Um, this is the best body. It's, it's so proportioned well. Uh, the black is awesome. Again, if it was red, white, and blue, this would be the one everybody wants. But look at this. Look at the traps. And I'll only break this out. This will be kind of fun. Uh, let me get this shield out of here. Look at the traps versus this guy so you got strike suit cap look at the neck look at the shoulders look at the proportions of the shoulders the waist i mean this guy right here this is cap this is this is chris evans this is like i just got done lifting weights and uh took the serum and everything this is this cap this right here is uh we're trying but we didn't quite nail it and even if you look at two side by side with age of ultron cap like this is better but this is, uh, as they said in Winter Soldier, specimen, right? Uh, so this right here is absolutely beautiful. And I love, I love this suit very, very much. I love the more pale uh, paint apps we got going on here versus uh, this right here where it was more, more tan. 
right? Uh, a big fan of this one. This one is, again, maybe one day we'll actually get it. So this is a concept art cap. This was a concept suit. They never actually used it in the film, um, but I wish they had uh, so we could actually have red, white, and blue version of this suit. Uh, but this is my favorite. And, and this is a super underrated figure. Super underrated figure. It does come with two shields, which I happen to have. Let me show you the other one. This is one of them. Uh, this is plastic, by the way. They did go over the plastic, but look at that. Man. So uh, let me show you this. I actually had to go break out the storage room to get this out because it comes with an extra shield that I think is worth noting. Um, it comes with this. So we got a black and white version of this. So I thought it was super cool. Big fan of this, big fan of it. And this is super light, like this is 100% plastic, nothing crazy going on there, but I really like this. Uh, and this one does come with a switch out mouth plate, which I like as well. And occasionally I will switch them out, uh, but you kind of just switch it out. We've seen this with uh, Batman figures and other Captain, Civil War did the same thing. Um, yeah. And obviously in game is going to have that switch out play, mouth plate as well. Uh, so that's pretty cool. That one's, uh, again, my favorite cap in the collection currently. Then we come to, let me get you over there. Then we come to the, the, I don't know, uh, the least favorite cap of collectors, I guess. Um, but that's going to be Infinity War cap. And I get it. The portrait's not all there. I understand. The portrait's not perfect. I understand. I get it. Um, but the proportions are good. Like you got wide shoulders, got a neck, slim waist, colors are great. Like this, this is pretty good. Like the proportions are good. The suit material is a little bit of a pain to deal with. Uh, again, uh, you can get some good poses out of it. It's not terrible. Uh, his hands like to come off. These, anytime you have these hands where the peg is weighed up in the, the glove, they're a freaking nightmare to deal with. So that's probably one of my least favorite characteristics of any Captain America figure are, are the are the hands that just are just a pain to, to peg in. Um, but this is a gorgeous figure. It comes with pile accessories. You get the movie promo version. You get the giant staff on, um, from uh, Cordy's Glaive and, and uh, Proxima Midnight. But this is, a, this is a beautiful figure. I don't... Other than the portrait, that's the only thing I can see that really people would be super upset about. Uh, so the reason I, I uh, actually picked up this other portrait, this one, is to show you what it looked like. I actually picked this up to go with that guy, but we're gonna, I'm going to pop this off and show you uh, what it looks like here in case anybody wants to do this. So there we go. How does that look? Better? Worse? Yay, nay? Thumbs up? Thumbs down? What do you guys say? So does that make that figure even better? Obviously, it's... A younger cap than this guy here has been through hide it hiding in uh, Wakanda and whatnot. Uh, but does that change the figure for you? It's pretty cool. It's a good concept, and it's not. It's not terrible. It's not terrible. Um, I kind of like it. I like it. So occasionally I will switch out this particular head on on uh, different uh, figures, and it, I think it looks pretty good right here. Now I also just for fun, I'll show you this. On my uh, concept cap, let's go and get this neck out of here without tearing everything up because I had it posed up pretty good. Um, I actually had, let me show you this with the concept cap. So this is Age of Ultron head on concept cap. Now I don't have it pegged all again. Let's get in there. Right? That's okay. That one, that one's all right. But I'll tell you what I think looks even better than the Age of Ultron head on this particular body is the Infinity War one. The beard, I think the beard is just, look at that. The beard is just on point, right? Again, not the best Chris Evans portrait, but on this head, I think that looks pretty freaking good, right? So... What are we gonna do when in-game cap arrives? I have no idea. I don't know. But right now I like having options. I like having my Captain America. It's like people collect Spider-Man. Obviously I have a pile of Iron Man. I have a pile of Captain America. So there is, I do want the Golden Age cap. 
Uh, we're definitely going to be getting the 2012 reissue of in game of the 2012 suit. Uh, we're definitely going to get one of those. Maybe we get two so we can say, hey, look, that's America's ass and that, that kind of stuff. Uh, that scene, we maybe. That might be an expensive scene just by two of just to replicate one scene, but it still might be kind of fun. Um, but um, we'll see. We're definitely going to get that, and I will be uh, scouring the interwebs trying to find other Captain Americas. And I will eventually go ahead and pick up the uh, Steve Rogers uh, civilian suit that kind of goes with this figure, which I sold years ago and shouldn't have. So there's that. Uh, but I love Captain Americas, guys. Uh, I'm a big fan of collecting all these things, and I like switching out different... Uh, heads and, and parts and um, yeah that's not bad right the one thing I hate about this Infinity War and I will flat out tell you I hate those freaking Wakandan shields holy god those things suck let's see if I can get right here this thing right here utter nightmare to deal with with these little clips I freaking hate these things uh, other than that I like pretty much everything else but hope you guys enjoyed this uh, I know it's a little something a little different, but maybe it helped you out in, in deciding like which cap you want. Uh, maybe it's uh, Infinity War, uh, Concept Art, 46, Strike Suit, uh, Age of Ultron, or even if you want to go vintage and go a 2012 uh, Rescue Cap. Hope that helped you out a little bit. But if you haven't already subscribed, guys, what the heck are you waiting on? We're on the way to 100,000 subscribers. It's going to be awesome. We got a super ridiculous Captain America giveaway that I just announced in the Facebook group today. So you might want to go check that out. So just saying. And whenever the end game Captain America does end up shipping, uh, we will definitely have it here early release, uh, day one batch coming in and uh, we'll have an unboxing review and all that kind of stuff. And we'll pose all these guys up. So um, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed that. If you haven't already, hit the thumbs up button, comment down below, with, let me know your favorite cap out of all these. And if you have pre-ordered in game cap. As always, click what you like. See you next time.